Hi, hello and welcome to another video. So I'm sort of borrowing an idea from Artie Game and Plumbella when they did this on stream. I am in the game Such Arts, as you can see this is my messy studio. And I'm going to be following a tutorial from the one and only Lee, Bob Ross. Let's see how this goes. Welcome back. I'm glad you could join me today. Well, thank you. I'm glad yeah, I could be here. A great big almighty mountain. I think you'll really enjoy oh. this one. Um, so let's have them graphically run all the colors across the screen that you need to do this oh, project. Oh. And they'll come across the screen and while they're doing that... I haven't the quite canvas. got as many colors as he has. Canvas with a thin, even coat of um, magic white. It's wet and slick and ready to go. I got my canvas. So we'll start out the day with a two and a half inch brush and we'll go right into a oh. small amount. This two and a half inch? Blue. Blue. Thalo blue. Blue. Very, very bright, beautiful blue. Oh. And we're just going to beat that paint right into the bristles here. And let's just sort of play a little color just here and there. Just yeah, it's not there. already not looking like okay. yours, Bob. Uh, we don't want to cover the entire sky here. Just there. Oh, how's, how's this coated? Um, now, without cleaning the brush, I'm going to go right into a, a very small amount of burnt umber. And once again, tap it into the brown? bristles in the same manner. Okay, let's go up here. Okay, and these okay. Areas, I'm going to drop a little bit of this burnt umber right in here. I want to gray the sky down in area so it's not just... This is just a very small <laughs> amount of, of burnt umber. Yeah, this isn't going to work, is it? Sienna color. <laughs> okay, a little, okay, bit, up a little bit up here. Right in here. Mm -hmm. Right okay, over so here. You just sort of wipe the brush off and put a little bit okay. of this color down in the Wipe bottom. it off. And I'm just going to oh. begin blending the sky. Just making little little crisscross strokes. We've got a blender. What's this do? And this color uh, is mixing with the magic. Oh no, it's rubbing it out. No, no. Why do I feel this is actually working? It doesn't look the same. As I say, today we're going to do a huge, huge, big, strong mountain that has a lot of rocks in it. Ooh. So let's mix up some black here. Oh, I haven't got black. Run, green. Quick. And you might as well, if you're painting along with me, mix up quite a large pile of this. Thalo green and a lizard and crimson. And about equal parts. Oh. Maybe a tiny bit more crimson. Than uh, green. Oh, what are we doing? And normally we just mix our color till it's marbled. Uh, they mix it very well. We want it to be very thoroughly mixed so we have a nice even black color. Huge mountain today. And you're really pushing this paint oh. into the fabric. Oh, God. There we go. And maybe it comes. Yep. Ooh. Right out through there. Just let it bounce and play wherever you want it to go. Uh, put another little bump right there. Okay, okay, Bob. Do You're the boss. It's fun to put little bumps on up here and there. Little bumps, little bumps. Okay. You can probably hear. I'm really scraping that canvas hard. I'm pushing that paint right into what the canvas. What if I use this? What if I use this? There's really not a great deal of color on the canvas. Oh, oh no. Oh. Now then, take one of these old uh, brushes. And oh, no, no, paint. that's ruined it. And oh, it. not that it wasn't ruined already. On previous shows, when you're painting mountains, if you can see the entire mountain, it's always more distinct at the top than it is at the bottom. Oh, so God. Miss. Can you see that? Just by pulling Yours looks nothing across. like mine, mate. Oh, we're mixing, we're mixing colors. Oh, pressure. All you're doing here is whisper light. Barely, uh, barely touch the canvas. Uh, barely touch the canvas. Uh, and same thing over on this side. A little bit lighter color. Just in a couple of places, so it gives you the impression there's a little light just bouncing through there. You know what? I don't actually hate it. it. We get that little we're getting there. We're right going to the outline mountain. the mountains. Now then, touch, no pressure. Let the paint break. Just let it come oh, right across. Or freestyling. Oh, we need some white. We need go. some white. Get a no bit of that pressure. in there. No pressure. Let it happen. Okay, okay, Bob. We're letting it happen. And just sort of in your mind, think where you want this little glacier to go and where the snow should lay. This is your. Letting it happen, so guys. Make these decisions. We're listening to the soothing tone of Bob's voice. There we go. Very right soft. in a masterpiece. Very gentle. Yep, very soft, very gentle. Which go away, Annabelle. We're trying to we're trying to create. Leave me alone. No drawing. Maybe there's some shadows right in here. And we just sort of lay them in. Lay them in. Let them happen. Just like so. Ooh. And, Ooh. Yeah. I don't know if this is working or not. Shapes. Things happen. Overwork it. You can keep 
pushing real hard on this oh, until it all sort of blends together, and we want it. We want to have all these different areas happening: some dark, some light, stones and rocks, and all kinds of beautiful little things. Just let them go. Mm, well, what, what, oh, now we, oh, we've we messed it up. Okay. Not that it wasn't messed up before. What if we use the spoon? It. Just right. Just right. No. Now we can sort of bring this together a little bit. Now then. Oh, oh no. We're going to throw a little bit of dark in here. We've ruined it, guys. We've ruined it. That was a big mistake. Turned you loose on the world. Oh, gosh. Attracted me to painting initially. Oh, what is that meant to be? It's the only place I had any power. All right. We're going to quickly cover this up. A few little rocks and stones. Okay, I think I should give you a perfect, basic idea. Perfect. Little mountain house. Little mountain beautiful, house. Beautiful mountain. It's oh. just some indications. We don't want a lot of detail. Just yeah, perfect. These look just like trees. Yep. Okay, I can see a strong one. resemblance to your painting already. Right here. Oh, God. We need some dark what color is that? What right color is that? These trees. And a tiniest little bit of white. Oh, look at there. Oh, oh. oh. Oh god. Maybe we'll have a nice valley under this mountain. Yep. Such okay, let's, beautiful mountain. I let's don't try a nice valley. And distract. So we'll take a little bit of this black color. I'm gonna add to it sap green. So I have black with sap green. Alright, we've got black. Just loading we've got brush, green. Brush full of paint here. Okay, let's go up here. And then just Where are we going next? Tapping it in. Uh, the good uh, thing uh, we're looking uh, for uh, here uh, is uh, angles. We we have to make a decision about the lay of the land and where it goes. That in this series, I was going to bring oh, no. and, and show you some fantastic Oh, we've used the wrong brush. Uh, Next all right, week, let's roll with it. We're we'll rolling with it. Try and rectify some of our trees Something in this corner. A whole series with Dorothy in the near future, so stop by and see us next week and see what you think. Okay, there we go. Just drop that right in and go right into some cad yellow. Now, since I have green, uh, yellow, on brush, yellow. We when I hit this yellow, I'm going to get some oh. beautiful, beautiful let's, greens. Let's pretend that one's cut yellow. It's just tapping. Just tap. Tap, tap, tap. tap Maybe tap, a little tap, yellow tap, ochre. Tap, 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 and sort of work the tap, color tap, back tap, and tap. forth. Once again, pay attention to the lay of the land. All right. And begin Paying attention. some of these. Barely touching. Okay. Just gently tapping e down. Click, click, click. Now, if there's a little hill here, you want the top of the hill to be the brightest, because that's where the most light would strike. Okay, we've got another hill just to visualize. put in. Visualize these in your mind and drop them in. Little Indian yellow. Uh, Just let them go. In. Okay. Right here. There's one back in the distance. I don't want as much color back in here. Okay, we need a little one back in the distance. Very, very, we get to where we don't see them. Oh, God. Go. It looking good. Is it looking wow, good? Big old brush going here. Tell you what. Bob, please, please help me, Bob. Maybe. Spirit right above, right please here. help so me. Go right back into this dark color. Oh this god! Black, right into some sap green. I'm going to yep, pull this brush in green. The direction. Look at there. Really pull it through the paint. Oh no right no no! So you can we see need the you. End of it. And maybe a tree. More trees. Right there. Touch, uh. push, bend. Just touch uh. it, and bend it. Touch it and bend it. No. Okay. Well, can't bend, so we we'll rotate in thing. as we go. <laughs> Down the there hill we go. Here. Oh, look at that! It's a masterpiece. Black. Oh, it's a beautiful tree. Maybe there's some little evergreens that live. Better than yours, Bob. Better than yours. Better than your happy little tree. Same as we did in the back back here. We're just so, making indications. I stopped paying them. attention. What are we making? Maybe it rained a little more on him, and he got stronger. Maybe got stronger. Little, we'll make a little more detail. But even tough old trees need friends, so we'll give him a little friend right there. Right there. There you go. But his happy little friend. Let's use a one-inch brush, and I'll put a little paint thinner on it. Oh, we haven't got a one-inch brush. You could use a little magic white. I'm using paint thinner today. Just something to thin the paint. Now then. We've got white and bright yellow. And this is Where's that going? All the beautiful highlights. Okay. Now, when you're doing this, uh, it doesn't want to stick on here, which is what... A little bit more, a little bit more. Another happy little I think we need a little bit more green. Oh, just like so. I want to put bush in. There you go. Look at that bush. Right there. There's another one. Ah, uh, it's a great right bush. All right, let's put another one there. Yeah, one nice curly one. bush. Expand brush a little bit. Another one. And we'll go. Oh, right and one in this corner. Brown. Okay, we need the brown. 
Like it says to the brown we've got, where's that going? Beautiful pine tree. Oh, it lives right here. I like to do big trees. And I'm just using this Van Dyke brown and tap. Just tap it right into the tap, 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 tap. Beautiful. Paint thinner on the liner brush. I'm going into some brown. Oh. Let's put a hand mix some of this out here on this tree. And I'm turning the brush. So it makes all kinds yeah. of little things happen. Wait, Bob. I'm, tr Stop it. I'm trying to keep like up. So. Uh, oh, we lost all that brown. And we're using a paint here that's very uh, thin. Oh. And it flows. So wherever you want these limbs, just drop them in. Maybe if they come right okay. around, wherever. Okay. limbs. They don't all just hang right off the sides. Now, okay, then. I'm going to use a little yellow, a little sap green. A right, bit yellow, a bit yellow, yeah, and a bit of green. A tiny bit of highlight on these little evergreens here. Don't want much. I want to keep them dark. <laughs> and back to my other <laughs> pan brush with the white on it. Yeah, you need some highlights. I'll tell you what, there's a little bitty path. There it is. Oh, right there. Um, Give us the indication of a little path. You. Then with the pan brush, you can just very gently pop in some little grassy areas. Perfect. The brush. There you go. Oh, look at look at our path oh, and our bushes. Beautiful mountain. All coming together. Almighty tree. And I think with that, the old clock on the wall tells us it's time to go. So from all uh, of us here, I'd like to wish you happy painting. God bless. Oh, I'll see you next week. Not quite the same. It's not quite the same, is it? Um, we did try. <laughs> But I'm, I'm happy, sort of. Um, well, thank you for uh, joining me with this episode of Painting with Bob Ross. If you enjoyed it, let me know. And I will see you in the next episode. Hurrah. Yeah, I'm not too sure. Ugh. Eels.